When a current flows through a resistor, the temperature of the resistor increases. And this is because work is being done by the charge. That's those electrons things. By the charge, symbol Q. And we measure, we measure charge. We measure collections of electrons, or we actually measure positive charge. We measure it in coulombs. Coulombs. So work is being done by the charge, these coulombs, as it transforms energy from electrical energy electrical energy to heat energy. So here is a coulomb of charge. And when a coulomb of charge leaves a power supply, it's all energized. It's got some energy in it. And the amount of energy for that each coulomb has is called the voltage. So a 5 volt battery gives each of these coulombs 5 joules of energy. We call it 5 volts. That charge will flow into a resistor in this case and it'll give up some of its energy as heat. As heat. It may not lose all of it. It may come out the other end with a little bit remaining. So this coulomb here is at 2 volts. That means it's got two joules left. And we use a voltmeter to measure the potential difference, the drop in voltage uh, across a component. And that's a measure of the drop in energy that each coulomb uh, has as it goes through. So here we start off with five volts. And at the other end, we have two volts. So what's the difference? What's the potential difference? Well, it's three volts. So we've got a three volt reading on our voltmeter. It's telling us that we've lost three volts across the resistor and that energy has been uh, transformed to heat energy. So that's all about charge and how it, when it flows through a resistor, it transfers electrical energy to heat energy.